The Karen One Ninety Z now in Grand Theft Auto Online, plus Grand Theft Auto bonuses, discounts, yachts, vehicles, and more. So before we check out the One Ninety Z, we're gonna go over all the bonuses, discounts, etc. Going on this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, you can earn bonus money for illicit activities through the twenty sixth of February, including double money and RP for smugglers run cell missions, as well as twenty five percent on uh, Grand Theft Auto for all biker business sales. So if you are into Smuggler's Run and you're into selling the uh, crates as well as uh, the biker businesses, you're going to get you know money. You're gonna get 25% for the biker businesses as well as double money, double RP for Smuggler's Run sell missions. And you can save on businesses, upgrades, and supplies. 25% off biker businesses, upgrades, and supplies along with uh, special cargo crates are receiving a 25% price cut. There are discounts everywhere for the uh, yachts, all yachts 30% off, yacht renovations, cabs, as well as uh, mobile operation renovations, bunker renovations, all that 30% off. The aircraft workshop is now 25% off. High-end vehicles, the Pariah, 30% off. The uh, XA21, 30% off. The Coil Raiden, also 30% off. And there is also uh, some clothing tattoos, 25% off the Doomsday Heist clothing, as well as import-export tattoos, along with uh, the uh, tax rebate and refund. We talked about that already. And uh, let's see, uh, you know, there's a premium race tri time trial going on, too. Tell the 26, uh, damned, along with uh, Califia Way, however you pronounce that. Anyway, so that's all the discounts going on in Grand Theft Auto Online. For more information, if you want to look over this article yourself, it is linked below in the description section. Time now to check out the latest vehicle from Dripocalypse 2018 in Grand Theft Auto Online. It is the Karen 190Z, a sports classic, and a lot of fans out there are very excited for this car based off of the uh, Datsun. It can be yours via Legendary Motorsports for the low, low price of $900,000. Bear in mind that with all the uh, mod options, upgrades, etc., etc., at Los Santos Customs, that will roughly be well over a million dollars when it comes to the final price tag for the Karen 190Z. However, going on till the 26th, along with the uh, refund by logging into Grand Theft Auto Online, you will be getting $250,000 deposited eventually into your bank account. You're also going to be getting 10% uh, of what you spend between the 16th and 26th of February, including vehicles and vehicle modifications. So anything you spend regarding the Karen 190Z, you're going to get 10% back in a few days. Well, sometime after the 26th, I believe, part of the, you know, the 2018 tax refund and rebate going on in Grand Theft Auto Online. So that means you can get up to a million dollars in rebate money, but that depends on how much you spend. If you spend up to $10 million, then yeah, you will get up to a million dollars in rebate. But, for example, if you buy the uh, Karen 190Z for $900,000, that means you're gonna automatically get at least $90,000 back in a week or so from now, along with 10% for all the various upgrades like the uh, engine, brakes, all the uh, customization mods, etc., etc. So we're heading to Los Santos Customs, and we're going to check out all the mod options regarding the Karen 190Z. And you're probably wondering, Go Burns, why is your Karen 190Z already fully modded and upgraded? Well, funny thing happened when I was recording the video this morning. I had it on the webcam mic instead of the my Blue Yeti mic, so uh, I had to redo the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let us uh, go to uh, Los Santos Customs and uh, check out real quickly the uh, variety of customization features regarding this sweet car. Now, it has arch covers, a ton of arch covers for you to choose from regarding the 190Z, and not that many vehicles in the game actually have arch covers, so the... 190Z is one of the few that happens to do so, along with uh, tons of bumpers. So you got a lot of bumper options to choose from regarding this car. So, I mean, you can go almost any direction you want when it comes to uh, the bumper design, the front, as well as rear. Most vehicles only have like two or three rear options. With the 190Z, there's a, a variety to choose from 
So you can definitely customize the 190Z to your heart's content. And when it comes to the bridge, the engine, not the bridge in the engine, uh, there is uh, the basic uh, tune upgrades, but for aesthetics, you also have uh, engine blocks to choose from as well. So a variety of engine blocks along with uh, the brace bars. So you get a multitude of brace bars along with uh, the engine design. So you can definitely change up the engine design as well. Bear in mind, everything except for the engine tunes is just aesthetics when it comes to your engines. It does not improve your overall performance at all next we're moving on to the exhaust there is a lot of exhaust features several uh, rear exhaust but there's also some unique uh, hood exhaust options too for you to choose from if you want to do uh, some exhaust on your hood and even more interesting there's also some side exhausts on the uh, front left side of the 190z so very unique exhaust options available exclusively for the 190z now we're moving on to the uh, grill options. You have the stock grill, which is my personal choice, but you can also remove it or you can add uh, various other grill designs too. So definitely uh, several grill options to choose from. Moving on to the hood, you can also remove the hood, especially if you are into uh, various uh, engine design and uh, you wanna put like a front exhaust up here along with uh, you know, a different look for the engine. Uh, you may wanna have the uh, hood removed but then again that's not really my thing but teach their own there's a variety of uh, different hood options for you including uh, some see-through options some vanity hoods which uh, will show off exactly all the uh, work you put into your engine when it comes to aesthetics if you feel like doing so next we're moving on to the uh, liveries there's a variety of liveries to choose from i went with the blue jackal because i thought it worked with uh, my color scheme but there's others that you can go with as well. Uh, you know, not too many, but there, there's a few, obviously, when it comes to liveries for the 190Z. Next, let's look at the mirror options. There's, once again, several mirror options to choose from. You can also remove your mirrors. To be honest, you don't really need mirrors in Grand Theft Auto Online anyways, even if you are driving in first person. But uh, here you go, the different mirror designs you can choose from. Giving you a, even more uh, command and choice when it comes to custom customizing your Karen 190Z. And then of course the uh, respray, there are three respray options. You have trim, you have secondary, and the primary. The primary goes towards uh, the majority of the car. So you uh, can see clearly that uh, I would say roughly 90 something percent of the Karen 90Z actually is uh, based upon the uh, primary color when it comes to deciding what your car is going to look like color-wise. Now, when it comes to secondary, secondary, uh, it comes down to a lot of the, um, you know, different uh, mod options, obviously, like with the uh, front bumper. I intentionally went with a uh, secondary color to give you guys an idea of, you know, the uh, changing of the customization. Also, the uh, door handles also change based on the uh, different uh, secondary colors you happen to go with. And uh, finally, the uh, trim color which I would recommend like maybe sticking with a uh, graphite or black or like a, a dark color because very few colors actually work with this wood finish when it comes to the interior design of the 190Z. And overall, I would say that uh, the interior is one of the nicer interiors when it comes to vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. I do like this old school wood finish for the 190Z, but I would say when it comes to like the uh, trim, I think your best bet is to simply go with a, a graphite or a black finish. That's just my opinion. Now let's move on to the spoilers. And obviously you're going to need a spoiler uh, to increase your traction just a little bit. But to max it out when it comes to the 190Z, I went with a, a boot lip spoiler. But um, there's a variety of others to choose from. And you can obviously not have a spoiler. But that is not advised because you want to have you know as good traction as possible when it comes to this car. So here's a variety of uh, spoilers. Some small, some some not. They don't stick out so badly, and I personally prefer a spoiler that doesn't stick out. But if you're into big, crazy spoilers, well, good news for you. There are big, crazy spoilers for the 190Z for you to choose from. And there's also the basic, you know, upgrade, suspension, transmission, turbo, wheels, windows, as well as, uh, you know, the armor, brakes, and once again, the engine upgrades for the Karen 190Z. Overall, a ton of customization mod options for you 
when it comes to this awesome new sports classic. Now let's just say after buying the 190Z and upgrading it, you decide you have buyer's remorse or sooner or later you just decide you want to sell it for whatever rhyme or reason. The uh, sale price is going to be about uh, just under $700,000 for the Karen 190Z. Now we're going to look at side-by-side -side comparisons stat-wise between the 190Z and a couple other sports classics, including the Cheetah Classic. The Cheetah Classic does have a little bit better top speed. They have the same acceleration. Braking goes to the 190Z, but traction definitely goes with the uh, Cheetah Classic. Now here's how the 190Z stacks up stat-wise against the Viserys. The Viserys does have a little bit better top speed. Acceleration is the same. The 190Z has better braking, and the traction for the 190Z and the Viserys is relatively identical. Final thoughts regarding the Karen 190Z after taking her for a spin around the map. Fully upgraded and modded, she handles relatively well. Decent for sports classic, but she definitely doesn't have a top speed to the Karen 190Z. So if you're looking for the fastest vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online, it is definitely not the Karen 190Z. However, she has a lot of uh, customization and mod options to her, plus a look based off of Datsun that a lot of car enthusiasts might be interested in. And for more in-depth detail regarding uh, the top speed as well as lap time, be sure and check out Bruffy's channel. Your thoughts below in the comment section regarding this sports classic, the Karen 190Z. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Feel free and chime in the comments regarding your thoughts. And once again, the Karen 190Z Sports Classic, now available for $900,000 in Grand Theft Auto Online.